CMS directing immediate help to nursing homes in COVID-19 hotspot areas, and Senate report finds facilities lack sufficient tests to meet COVID-19 recommendations. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Federal health authorities announced Friday that they will be sending quality improvement organizations, or QIOs, across the country to give nursing homes and COVID-19 hotspots immediate assistance. The targeted areas will be identified by the White House Coronavirus Task Force. A notice came from CMS and that was announced on Friday. CMS also said it is implementing an enhanced survey process tailored to meet the specific concerns of hotspot areas and will coordinate federal, state, and local efforts, quote, to leverage all available resources to these facilities. Provider advocates have continually noted that nursing homes have accounted for 30 to 40 percent of COVID-19 related deaths in the U.S. and internationally. That is all the more reason, they claim, that federal authorities need to do more to help providers get needed PPE, timely testing, and other resources. The agency has deferred much of the direct assistance to local and state authorities in a video released on Thursday about her agency's oversight of nursing home issues. Administrator Seema Verma said that, quote, our response continues to be locally executed, state managed and federally supported. Regulations also have reported that providers overall still need to do better with infection control practices. QIOs are CMS contractors that work with healthcare providers to help them improve the quality of healthcare they provide to Medicare beneficiaries. Long-term care facilities don't have enough access to testing in order to meet the federal government's weekly COVID-19 testing recommendations, according to a new report released by Democrats with the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions. The Trump administration issued the recommendation for universal testing at long-term care facilities in May. It calls on nursing homes to test all residents once a suspected case is realized on a continued weekly basis until all residents are negative. All staff members should be tested weekly. States and lab companies, however, have found that there are significant limits on the number of tests available in order to reach and sustain this level of testing. They are skeptical that leaders and providers can meet the federal testing standards, the report noted. Quote, many states are not able to meet the recommended testing levels in congregate care settings and are working to detect outbreaks with less frequent testing, report authors explained. They continued, only one state reported being in a, quote, pretty good place with testing all staff and residents at congregate settings, although some other states were hopeful about the monitoring systems they have in place. The report recommends that the federal government establish testing guidance for facilities that accurately reflect continued testing shortages. Officials also should develop strategies that reflect current testing capacity to prevent these disease outbreaks, Author said. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. <music>